children of standard 5 we have been discussing safety and first aid children all of us know that safety rules must be followed to avoid accidents and we talked about the first aid what is first aid first aid is the immediate help given to a person who gets injured or falls ill and it can be given before proper medical help arrives and it can save a person's life we discussed first aid for different conditions today we are going to discuss first aid for animal bites children cats dogs rats are few animals whose saliva may carry germs of a deadly disease called rabies so what should we do uh, to treat animal bites immediately and what should we do as first aid to avoid animal bites and what should we do when we have animal bite so what are the what should be the uh, our first treatment that is called first aid so in case of an animal bite by a dog cat monkey or any other stray animal first we should wash with soap and water the area so that the germs do not get into the body because the stray animals might be carrying the rabies virus after washing the wound we should cover with a clean bandage and take the patient to the doctor immediately so after cleaning the affected area with an antiseptic lotion we must cover the area with a clean cloth and we must see a doctor immediately because uh, anti rabies injection is needed in this condition so uh, animal bite uh, may cause hydrophobia that is called major symptom of rabies a person suffering from hydrophobia is afraid of water and it is a deadly disease so we must take anti rabies injection when we have animal bite any stray animal bite because their their saliva may carry the germs of rabies so and what should we do uh, as first aid for snake bite children all of us know that the snake bite many snakes are poisonous snakes may be poisonous and non poisonous all of us know that the their uh, uh, tooth ha- carry the uh, glands of poison and in case of a snake bite uh, when it injects uh, uh, the person into the victim's body the poison enters the blood and spreads to all parts of the body so what should we do we should not uh, allow the victim victim to move because the movement will spread the poison uh, faster so we should tie a piece of cloth or bandage just above the bite and this would slow down the movement of infected blood towards the heart because all of us know that the blood is uh, our transporter blood is our transporter any kind of nutrient medicine poison uh, blood is transporting to all parts of our body so we must take the victim to a doctor where where anti venom injection may be necessary because this venom that is a high level of protein that may coagulate the blood of the victim and uh, this can be deadly so uh, we uh, fatal uh, so we must uh, take the um, use the first aid for snake bite after um, um, 
bandage uh, we should uh, tying a piece of cloth or bandage just above the uh, bite and uh, but so certainly this will slow down the spread of movement of infected blood towards the heart so we should avoid and we should we should not wait uh, or we should rush to doctor for the anti venom injection so uh, children there are the conditions when we should try to uh, always uh, uh, insect bites is also there uh, some people are allergic to insect bite they develop uh, rash and they can get uh, that can get serious such people must be taken to a doctor immediately and uh, we should always be ready and uh, children we should take care and safety uh, should be uh, our safety rules may be there to avoid and preventing poisoning so how can this poisoning may happen uh, children in the house we have many naphthalene balls medicines and uh, nail paints and detergents uh, so that can contain ca harmful chemicals so uh, we should always keep these things away from the children so that Mm, keep uh, we should keep all the medicines from far from the reach of the children and we should always throw away the medicines that have crossed their expiry date and we should not leave naphthalene balls around if there are small children at home because they are not able to understand uh, that uh, naphthalene balls uh, may be poisonous to them in case of any kind of poisoning uh we should uh, try to, uh, to uh, make the victim vomit so that the victim to the and we should always uh, take the victim to the doctor immediately so we we should take the safety uh, we should follow the safety rules to prevent poisoning